A local woman was honored at the Monroe High School girls soccer game tonight. Miriam O'Neill, the team's former coach, is battling two different diseases. Our Jenna Middaw tells us more about Miriam's match. For the first time ever, the girls soccer team is playing on school grounds. And to make this game even more special, the team is dedicating it to the woman who worked so hard to make this happen. Tonight's starting lineup. Miriam is the strongest person I know. She's a very inspirational person. In a small town like Monroe, everyone knows everyone, and everyone knows Miriam O'Neill. When I even mention Miriam, nobody has to ask who. Everybody in the community knows exactly who Miriam O'Neill is and everything that she's done for the soccer program. As longtime coach for the Cheesemakers, she's certainly left her mark. Miriam has pushed us a million miles. She always tells us, go into everything with composure. Be the best soccer player you can be. We are her little soccer babies. And she taught the girls that soccer is more than a game. It's family. Sometimes we get so distracted during practice that we just spend time being with each other. When Miriam's battle with blood cancer and an inflammatory muscle disease became too much to keep coaching, she had to step down, but her team has stepped up. She's been a really great coach to everyone, and it's hard to see her not be able to coach anymore, so it's really nice to honor her. The first home game ever played on the school's football field has been dubbed Miriam's match. She has worked so hard to actually have the girls play on this field, and so to have the first game on this field in honor of her was just perfect because she totally deserves all of this. With red and blue ribbons in their hair representing the two diseases Miriam is battling, the girls lined up and gave Miriam a bouquet of red and blue carnations, a reminder that no matter what happens, your family is always there. We're not only playing for her, we're playing because of her. We're playing because she is the heart of our family. She taught us, she just showed us all about soccer and what it means to be a soccer player and part of a soccer team. The team also gave Miriam a memory book filled with notes from past and present players. In Monroe, Jenna Middaw, WISC News 3. The team also sold wristbands and held a 50-50 raffle with the money going to research for the diseases Miriam is battling. And the girls, by the way, they won tonight four to a big fat goose egg.